Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Supposed to be I try to make the message about great covenant and smaller covenant, which is a somewhat different topic. I never treat. Early this morning, the voice is keep on saying to me that Job, you prepare about Eser. Eser. Eser is one of the blessings we are going to learn today. Well, why we believe Jesus? Why do you want to believe Jesus? Why do we come to church? And why we do the Bible study for? Bill, what's your purpose? Because <coughs> we want to be saved. We want salvation. Yeah, want to be saved. That's right. What about third goal? What do you want from the church? What do you want from God? 하나님께서 하나님께로부터 무엇을 원하시는 거죠? 모든 것을. He said everything he wants from the God. Yes. Mm. Madam, what do you want from God? Many blessing. Yes. Not only two, but many, many blessing. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm. Typically, we'll explain you about two types of blessing, but, well, mostly we want to have the blessing like a salvation. Yes. And sometimes we are expecting also some blessing as a material blessing, isn't it? Especially when our life is goes down and when we are suffering because money matter. And we're looking for the Jesus. And some people really attend the church on the purpose to have a blessing from the God, which is a blessing, material blessing, or either blessing of the Spirit too, isn't it? Yes. God wants to bless his people, and he promised to do Abraham this kind of blessing. Can you read it? I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Yes. God gave very big blessing to the Abraham. He says, that anybody bless you, I will bless him. And if somebody cursed you, I will curse him. Wow. So meaning to say, whoever tried to against Abraham, he will be cursed. And not only that, what does he say that? And you all families of the earth shall be blessed. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So meaning to say, because Abraham, through the Abraham, everybody in the world will be blessed. Why? From the Abraham, who came out, who born? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and going down, and there is a David. And from the David, who come out? Jesus, Jesus. Yes. So, most two blessings that Abraham got in the Genesis, I think. Why? Because he's the first one, and from the Abraham, it comes like uh, Isaac, Jacob. So, we say that the people who is in the faith, if you read the Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, I think, it says that the people who in the faith is a descendant of Abraham. So, this is a really Good blessing, isn't it? Well, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they, are, they have a common thing. What is the common thing? They're all poor or all rich? They're all poor? Okay, they are poor. They're rich. They were so rich. Yeah, they're so rich, actually. They got so many like animals. They have lots of gold and silver. They had plenty of people. Just imagine, in the house of Abraham, he could raise the 300 soldiers. Wow. So he has what? Personal soldier group. So he, if he is a very poor, can he has that kind of soldier group? No. He was rich. One thing is sure that the people is rich. So many Christians actually, the one who attend the church, they come to church to be blessed, to be blessed. 
So Bible testify those people who believe in Jesus will be blessed or not? Yes, it does. It does. It does. Let's read the one verse. Can you read it? Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. His descendants will be mighty on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Yes. What does it say? It says, Wealth and riches will be in his house to the people who fear the God, to the people who keep the commandments of God. That's the reason why they are thinking, problem is like this. They are thinking if they come to church, they will be automatically blessed and they will become rich. So those people, when they give offering, they give offering more than they have sometimes. Why? Because through this offering, God will pay me 100 times. So, yeah, I, I, when we have like a 550, what we give? 500. It's that way they want to have a blessing. Do you think this is a right faith or not? No, that's not. That's not right faith. Yes. It is a sure that God wants to bless us. Well, what is the most important blessing is what Bill wanted. The most important blessing is our salvation. Our salvation. Okay, can you read this? Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. Bella. Yes, it says that salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. So the blessing here means surely the salvation. So salvation is into the Lord. I have a question. If you are God, if you are God, which is more important, your salvation or your wealth or riches? Salvation is the most important. Blessing in the Bible, when we see it, it has Eser, Barak, Tob, and Yatab. But most common blessing is this Eser and Barak. So I want to share about this. Yes, sir, and Barak today. And when we understand yes, sir, and Barak, and you will know how you will become rich. Yes. Do you want to be rich? Bill? <laughs> no, not anymore. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm blessed enough. Okay. Yeah. He's rich enough, I know. Yeah. So, but anyway, there is a two most important blessing, yes, sir, and Barak. Well, this is uh, both are Hebrew, but we are going to learn. I don't know why God like come at me in this morning before I wake up. God already wake me up and say that today message. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Barak, it should be spoken here. I don't know why. I really do not know why. It just come out in my mind. And I, I try to find out the message because I teach this before to my family. So I try to find out all the message that if I, because I remember I taught them, but I think I didn't write on the message. So I write the message again, and I try to explain this. Okay, Eser first. Eser is most important blessing for you. This Eser, the blessing cannot be seen. Cannot be seen. Why? Because that's more on spiritual blessing. Yes, sir, is not the material. Yes, sir, is a blessing in your heart. The blessing in heart, so sometimes it translates as happy or happiness, which is what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, in the Bible, there is another, which is a barak, barak, but this is a somewhat opposite with a yes, sir. But this is also from the God. This is a blessing can be seen. More on riches, blessing, and blessing in things. Okay. So, which is a more on spiritual? Yes, sir. Barak is more on things. So, when you read the Bible, there is a, just in English, it's a blessing. In Korean, it's a book. But you must focus how you are going to have Barak or Eser. God, does God give what? 
Does God want to give more? Yes, sir, or Barak? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But actually, God wants to give both. Both. But because yes, sir, is more important, what God does do, God give yes, sir, first and make you be safe first. Then after you be saved, then Barak follow. That's what in the Bible we can see from the Bible. Why? Most important is what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Barak is just the following. This is optional. When you are already very, very full with the spiritual, and when you are full with the salvation, and there is a time he allowed to have the Barak. Why? If you have a Barak first, you become like this. And you don't mind about God. So proud of himself. And they don't mind about Yeser. Why? For him, Barak is already full. So what does Jesus say? The people of which, it's very hard to come to heaven. Why? Because it makes you proud of yourself. Do you understand? So what God wants to give? Yes, sir, first. Yes, sir, first. Okay. Let's read it together. Can you read it? Happy are your men, and happy are these your servants, who stand continually before you and hear your wisdom. Yes. This is the spoken by to the Solomon, by the, by the queen from the Ethiopia. And she is a saying that, oh, happy are your men, happy are these your servants who stand continually before you and share your wisdom. They're happy. Actually, this is also blessing. Is this yes, sir, or Barak? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Barak. Yes, sir. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah, you're doing good. Yes. So you are understanding about the blessing. This is what God wants to give us first, which is the wisdom. What is the wisdom? Knowing good and evil. This is the wisdom definition in the Bible. So God wants you to know what is right or wrong first. And that knowing it is already what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you go to next? Can you read it? Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Yes. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. The sin is forgiven. Whose sin is covered. What do you think? That bless, that blessing is yes, sir, or Barak? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Barak. Barak. <laughs> yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Very good student. Yes. Very good student. So what we, God wants us, he wants our sins covered by Jesus. He want our transgression is forgiven. Because that is the most important yes sir. And for that Jesus come and he forgive all our sin. So yes sir is quite important, isn't it? Yes, that's important. Okay. There is more blessing. Can you read it? Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people he has chosen as his own inheritance. What about this blessed? What do you think? This blessed? Is it yes, sir, or Barak? Barak? Barak or yes, sir? The people become his people. Okay, yes, sir. Barak. Barak? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I keep on teaching you about the yes, sir now. Actually. Yes. Because to understand more clearly about the blessing, which is more important, we become his people. We become his nation. So in, in if you read up Peter, it says that we are his chosen people. Chosen people. And we are his nation. Nation. Those blessings are what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which is a spiritual blessing. I become his people. And this is what God wants to give us first. Okay. The next one, can you read it? Blessed is the man who does this, 
and the Son of Man who lays hold on it, who keeps from defiling the Sabbath and keeps his hands from doing any evil. Yes. What do you think? This bless is Yeser or Barak? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's still yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. <clears throat> Why? This is the spiritual blessing to become his people. When you connect it with the salvation, that's all yes, sir. But when it is a connect with a material blessing, that's barak. Okay? okay. Remember, material blessing is what? Barak. But first of all, what we need to have, we must have the yes, sir first. Okay? Can you read it? Blessed are those who keep justice and who does righteousness at all times. Yes, when we do justice and righteousness all the time, what kind of blessing will be? Is that Barak or Yes, sir? Yes, that's surely Yes, sir. Yes, you are learning now. Very good. <laughs> yes. Let's go for the next one. Okay, can you read it? And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let birds multiply on the earth. Yes. Multiply on the earth. What kind of blessing do you think this one? Yes, sir, or Barak? Barak. Okay, Barak. Yes, sir. Wow. Okay, Barak. <laughs> This is the more on numbers. Yeah, multiply. That's right. This is the more on numbers. So we, when we read the Bible, we must know it, why they have a barak. Okay? Hey, one more. Do you remember the Job? Job was totally destroy his things, isn't it? In the beginning. At the end of the Job, the words coming out and say it like this. Can you read it together? Now the Lord blessed the later days of Job more than his beginning, for he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 female donkeys. Wow! This blessing is a Barak or Yeser? Okay, Barak. Yes, Barak, Barak. Remember, this is a material thing, so this is a Barak. Do you understand? Why Job able to have the Barak? You must remember, he never gave up the righteousness from the Jesus. He hold it until he died. He never changed with material with his yes sir. So when he hold his yes sir, he could have the Barak for the next. So if you really willing to have become rich, if you really want to be, have more blessing with the material, first things you need to put is what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You should be stand with the Jesus first so that you will have also material blessing. This is a quite important. This is a tip how we become rich with the blessing of the Lord. Do you understand? Okay, let's go for next one. Can you read it? The Lord will great you, bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess as an inheritance. Only if you carefully obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe with care all these commandments which I command you today. Yes. He says that. What kind of blessing is it, do you think? What kind of blessing? He says that. There will be no poor people. Only if you, for the Lord will greatly bless you in the land which the Lord, your God, is giving you to possess as an inheritance. Only if you carefully obey the voice of the Lord, your God. So observe with care all the, these commandments which I command you today. So, what do you think? And it says actually at the end, it says that there will be no poor people in, in your land. So this, the, this blessing is Barak or Yeser? Barak. Okay. Barak. Barak. Yeser. <laughs> okay. This is the Barak. Barak. <laughs> Barak. Barak. Why? This is the, talking about material things. Material things. Uh -uh. But we must carefully understand. 
when we can have barak, this is a barak, when you have a barak, if you only, if you carefully, only if you carefully obey the voice of the Lord your God and observe with care all these commandments which I command you today. Meaning to say, when we see the Bible in Genesis chapter 25, it says that Abraham kept his statutes, his command, his state, and his law, and all the things that God commands. And Abraham, what? He followed. Because Abraham and Jacob, Isaac, they followed the law of God. That's the reason why they had Barak. And Bible clearly says that you want to have my blessing and you follow my commands. It is weird, isn't it? If you kill somebody once a year and you don't follow the commandments of God and you keep on both both and you don't be honest in front of God, do you think God will give you Barak? No. No. Why? He wants to give you the yes out of first. Do you understand? So he cannot give Barak first. Why? Once you have a Barak, then you will never mind and you will leave the God immediately. The people who will have Barak from the God is the people who observe with care all these commandments which I command you today. Okay, let's go. Next one. Can you read it? He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. Yes, this, I give you the answer first. This is actually Barak. He will bless to those who fear the Lord, both small and great. So meaning to say, even you are small, even you are, you are great, or a small person, or great person, or young, or, or it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They can have a Barak if they fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. What is the fear of the Lord? Pardon? Yes, no, this is a Barak. This is a Barak. I mean, what is the fear of the Lord? Because of God promised to the people, God promised to give the Barak, the material blessing, to those people who fear the Lord. Those who fear the Lord. So what is the fear of the Lord? What is fear of the Lord? Huh? Listen. Listen, keep to. Keep to. Yeah, that's right. Okay. The faith. Who will receive this material blessing? Read it together. Let's read it together. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. The fears the Lord, those are the fear the Lord, fears the Lord, who delight greatly in his commandments. Those people who keep his commandments are the people who fear the Lord. You know, me, my wife, so this is the Barak, actually, Barak. The people who will have a Barak is what? The people who fear the Lord. And the, if the people who fear the Lord is what? The people who delight greatly in his commandments. Me and my wife give an order my, to the, my children. I said to Rocky, Rocky, you help me. I'm washing the car. And Rocky says, I need to clean. I need to throw the garbage in the trash can. No, you follow me first. And he says, that, no, mother told me to trash the trash, throw out the trash. He feared me more or he feared my, my wife more. He fears my wife more. Do you understand? When the Satan is speaking to you something, ah, today, that boy, don't go to church. But when we fear the God, we need to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. That we follow and fear the God and we follow his commandments. And those are the people who, who will have a barak, barak. Do you understand? How we can be rich? When we follow his commandments. When we give up our willingness. Yes, I keep on saying to my children, you must fear me more. <laughs> they said, no, no, father, you not fear. <laughs> I'm never afraid of you. But mother, yes. <laughs> because mother what? She shot. <laughs> then, you know, the children say, ah, oh, yeah, that's why I have no, no authority in the house. Yes. Okay. So Bible keep on saying that those people who is wise and who fear the Lord is the people who keep the commandments of the God. So can you read it? 
The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding of all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. That's right. The people who keep his commandments, who do his commandments, they're the people who fear of the Lord, and they have a good wisdom. Why? They know what is right and wrong. And that's the reason why they know what is the best way. This morning, I learned, we study about fake Holy Spirit. Fake Holy Spirit makes the people laughing, crying, drunkenness. But they are thinking that the true Holy Spirit came to them. Why are they deceived? Why? Because they don't have a wisdom. To those who are not keeping the commandments of God, they don't have a wisdom. What is right? What is wrong? What is a good spirit? What is a bad spirit? So they have no, no kind of understanding about the Bible. So best way we have a Barak is we must be a people who has Yes, sir, first, and keep his commandments. Okay, preach time, preach time. So you are going to speak either this is a yes, sir, or the barak. Okay, if you don't pass, you cannot go home. <laughs> okay, can you read it? You water its ridges abundantly. You settle its furrows. You make it soft with showers. You bless its growth. Yes. Bless it to grow. You bless it to grow. So God will give blessing to the crop to grow. Is it Barak or Yeser? Barak. Okay, Barak. Yeser. Oh, okay. Angel cannot go home. <laughs> it's a Barak. <laughs> Angel cannot go home. Okay. Okay, second. Okay, second. Okay, can you read it? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Yes. The people who taste the seed of Lord is good. Blessed is the who trust in him. Is it yes, sir, or barak? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Barak. Oh, what's my mom? Okay, okay. This is the spiritual blessing, right? Spiritual blessing. So, this is the Blessed in his the man who trusts in him. This is spiritual blessing. So this is a yes sir or barak. Yes sir. Barak. Barak. Okay, so go cannot go home also. <laughs> this is a yes sir. Why? Because this is the talking about salvation. Salvation. Okay. Okay, let's go for the next. Okay, can you read it? He who hears the word wisely will find good. And whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. Yes. Who is a trust in the Lord? Happy is he. Wow. What is the blessed people is that? Actually, this is a blessed is he. So happy is he. Is this yes, sir, or Barak? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Barak. Barak. Okay. Anyway, I tell you, not, you don't need to go home, huh? <laughs> this is yes, sir. Here, everybody here, no, cannot go home, huh? <laughs> no one can go home. Yes, good. Yes. But yes, I think that really the bill understood about yes, sir, and Barak. Yes. Okay. Next. Can you read it? <clears throat> For those blessed by him shall inherit the earth. But those cursed by him shall be cut off. Yes. This is a material blessing or spiritual blessing. It says that inherit the earth, not heaven. Huh? This is earth, earth, earth. For those blessed by him shall inherit the earth. But those cursed by him shall be cut off. So this is a yes, sir, or barak. Okay. Yes, sir. Barak. Oh, oh, everybody got the right answer. Yeah, that's right. So now you know what is a yes, sir, and barak, isn't it? Yes. Barak is a material blessing. To have the material blessing, we have no other way. But we must have what? 
Yes, sir, first. Yes, sir, first. If we don't have a salvation, but if God just bless us and we become so rich and we are not seeking for Him, God doesn't want that. So sometimes He put us in trouble, meaning to say, You seek me more, find me more, and have the yes set first. I hope here we become a people not only has a yes set, but together with a Barak one day. Okay, let's pray.